Hi. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that I loved your moments together on screen. Laverne, your line delivery of in a world where you can be anything, be kind. In the workout scene, priceless. Oh my goodness. I loved shooting that. <laughs> I loved it. That was and fun. then the, you're a bad bitch repeating on the phone. I needed that scene so badly, let me tell you. <laughs> I loved you as Casey. And then Katie, I'm still haunted by that frantic American Express call. I know oh that gosh. really that really sits there for people, huh? I I I texted Katie. I was like, girl, I was going through it on that American Express call. She was like, I, I was American Stressful. Express lady. Stressful. I it was really that was so real, right, Leora? Yes, oh. yes. I've worked in customer service. It's real. It's so real. <laughs> That was the last scene of the day that we shot. It was the last scene of a very, very, very long day. I remember it very well. And I just remember being like, shit, I got to get like, this is like highest stakes possible. She thinks she's going to be arrested in a foreign country. When they said, how much money do you need to get out of the country? I started crying. I literally started crying. I was like, I've read the scripts. Why am I crying? (laughs) I was, um, I was stressful. I was going through it. This show will, oh girl. Anyway, I'll never remember. Yeah. The beginning is um, American Express. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they keep putting you on hold. And I'm like, oh my God, is this girl ever getting through? No, it's worse and worse and worse for Rachel. I mean, I can remember that. Like, oh, you think it's bad now? Just wait, just wait. And here's some more and here's some more. I mean, it was like torturous. It was torturous to shoot. Like, in the best, most rewarding way, but just like, oh my goodness, like this is stressful. <laughs> yeah. And then the next episode at their workplace where she keeps calling, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> when she shows up at the hotel room that she's like finally going to get the money and then she knocks on the door and no one's there. Ah! And the hotel person is literally like, she's not and, here, yeah. never getting the check. And all of a sudden Rachel grows up. It's like a total loss of innocence. It's like a total whatever you thought and always gave people the benefit of the doubt. However, your parents raised you, your privileged little white picket fence life. Bye bye. Like yeah. grow up, grow up. It's and your fun. line delivery of like when you say something like, "But she's my friend, oh. girl." No, oh, she's not. Rachel. No, she's not. Anyway, poor Rachel. <laughs> Yeah. So my question yeah. was, what did you like best about working with each other? Oh, oh my gosh. Boy. I had the best time working with Laverne. I had to really, you know, Laverne is an icon and um, a force and a talent and a, uh, like, I just, and I really quickly was like, Ooh, okay. I got to like get, we're going to do scenes together. And I got to just like connect to her on like a human level because I'm so like, Oh my gosh, like Laverne Cox is so incredible. Mm. Um, and then we started talking about like dating and it got very normal and real and hilarious. And I just was like, Oh, like I can do this. Like, 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 and, and I just think that that, I think that that read, um, in their friendship and their trust of characters. And, and then again, just really paid off when Rachel screws over their friendship. I mean, Rachel isn't truthful with Casey and it's heartbreaking. It's not cool. I think like, I think it's impossible not to like Katie. Um, there's something I think there's it's impossible not to like you Katie you're just really awesome and I loved being in Morocco with you and your husband and your child like I whose name I'm getting what Albie but it's a hard name Albie who like her child I don't know I don't think you post your child do you on social media he is a supermodel he, he is. is. And he's Laverne so would just be like, your skin. And I'm like, kids. Laverne, he's three. <laughs> the children's skin. It's almost like you should so they have do, no pores. They should do like some kind of, they should do research and not like healthy research mm-hmm. on children. Like, I don't know, take samples of the children's skin because this is the skin. Like, it's like the skin is so good. He was like two <laughs> or three or something. Yeah, he was three. He was like three years old. The three two, skin was just know. so flawless at that age. And like, it was just so, he's just such a beautiful child. You like Thank you, Laverne. You're so child. sweet. Wait, see my daughter. I had a baby in between the first two, so Laverne so generously 
we had to push all of our ending scenes till the end after pandemic, after shutdown, totally insane because Shonda was like, let's have Katie have this baby and have a maternity leave and COVID. And this is insane. And Laverne was very, um, thankfully wonderful yeah, about remember, her schedule. The beautiful thing is that I remember we were in Morocco and you said you want to have another baby, but you don't know how you don't, we were literally like, this is before we were like, I don't know if I have time to have another baby because I will need another job after this. Then the pandemic happened and then I heard you were pregnant and I was so happy for you. Oh my God, you're like, so kind. Oh my was God, perfect. she was literally talking about this. I could cry. I was like, you were talking about this and like, this is a blessing of a pandemic. The blessings of a pandemic is you got to have your baby and then you and be have home with Shonda her. Rhimes who's like, let's give this woman some time. Like who gets a boss like that? Like it's nobody. Just, God is good. She God is. is so good. Yeah, God is good. She is. She is. A remarkable boss in that way. It was yeah. really, really with both my pregnancies. She's insane. She's absolutely. You got to work with her both pregnancies. Isn't that like? Oh, the nice. girls in Shondaland. No, they came up to me and they were like, "If you want to have babies in this business, make sure you do it while Shonda Rhimes is your boss. She's the only person who will take care of you. Literally, wow. it's like known because you don't want to mess around. It's like scary everywhere else. Anyway, we all bow down to the altar that is Shonda Rhimes." <laughs> See, those are the, but those are the things. She's like not only a brilliant artist and writer and producer and all that stuff, but that the working conditions can be like that, where you can go, where you can be a human being, you know? Like, I don't, I, that's just, that's really- We rare. shot in Morocco and I feel like they pulled out all the stops. I mean, we they were- They really did. They really Like, did. very well taken care of. Uh, it we was were. amazing. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're just talking to each other no, no, and we no, completely steamrolled you and your yes. interview. <laughs> no, I love this. Sorry. Thank you so, so much. Thank you both for the fundraising that you both do. It's incredible. Oh. Thank you for your art. Thank you for this. Oh, Have a wonderful Leora, day. Leora, you're a dream. Thank you.